Hey everybody, D Amazing here, bringing you another review, this time of the Mafex Armored Batman. Let's get started. First off, I want to start by saying it actually looks really, really nice. It's a bit small, but overall, really nice. It's a great look, it's streamlined very well, and even with the breaks and the cuts for the form for articulation, it still looks really well. So, before anything, I want to start by showing you a size comparison with the normal Batman. Let's center it. So between the two looks, you can clearly see that this Batman's a slightly bit taller in terms of size. But even more important, it actually looks like there's a Batman under the armor. Which is a look and aesthetic you actually want to go for. Pretty good. In terms of actual height next to Superman. Superman's still a bit taller. Still looks really nice. Phone-wise, looks great. And a big question that everyone else is probably going to ask me. How it looks next to the Mezco armored Batman. Now, honestly, I like the look, the feel, and the overall aesthetic of the Armored Batman from Mezco. It's a little bigger. It's a little buffer. It's a little more proportionate to that of real armor to me. But if something you want for this one, in my personal opinion, articulation. So this is what you aim for with this one. While the Mezco has the looks, this one definitely has the form and articulation. It uses the pull-out leg method. It carries for most imported figures. It's damn near double-jointed knees. It's a ball joint for the toes. And there is a toe pivot. More importantly, there's bicep swivel. There's really good form of articulation on the arm. Full rotation and wrist swivel. Ball joint. The head can look up, down, left, right, swivel. Also, this is on a ball joint, so you can actually take it off. So one thing I wanted to try before, but I didn't get a chance to, I want to test and see if the normal Batman head will fit on the armored Batman. So let's give that a shot real fast. So while it's a little smaller, you can actually do that. So you can actually take off the helmet and you can make it look like this. Overall, it works. Also, the one thing that this cape, this figure has that the best code does not, it actually has a wire in the cape. So as you can see, you can do jump down poses, you can flow throw. So that's one thing that Mayfix actually has on the Mezco in terms of cape. It's wired. Really nice. So again, the one thing I want to talk about is the brakes and articulation. So while the Mezco one doesn't have the strap over it, which is cool because they actually had give you the gun that is necessary for it. The Mafex one actually has tons of articulation, which you didn't think you would get. And I'm going to show you guys. What you can actually do with the figure. That overall you just would not expect so I know a lot of people want to see me do this more so I'm going to show you as you see as you clearly can see you can get more breaks the more articulation is offered for this one sorry guys I'm a little all over the place sorry about that you don't get the light up eyes but they do have a nice glow to it and tint but like I said having a great articulation for this one is awesome I know I showed somebody another post, I believe it was my friend Julio. This one also has great balance on one foot. I did it earlier today, let's see if I can do it again. It might be a little too heavy now. I've worn out the joints a little. But nope, again, standing on one leg. <laughs> it has a nice touch of the spiked foot as well. That's something the Mafex can also do, it can balance. But I'm gonna start showing this off more often with figures. If it can balance, doesn't break as you can see I'm shaking around my display just fine so I don't have any problems with the figure at all it's different from the Mezco it's not the same so they both offer different things so I can't say which is necessarily better because I like them for their different usages but overall really enjoying this right now the only thing that's lacking right now for this Batman is the lack of accessories the first Batman we actually get tons and tons and tons of hands and accessories which is pretty cool especially for the price point with this one, you only get uh, holding hands for the grapple gun, which I'm going to show you. So you're going to hold the grapple gun in there, and you get open palms. So it's a little disappointing because it's shown sometimes with the kryptonite spear and the damage helmet. So what I did was, I'm going to test this out now. I took the kryptonite spear from my Mezco one, and we're going to see if it works in the hand of the Mafex one. 
I'm gonna try to just fit it in without damaging the hand. Looks like it works. So let's remove the joint. And one thing I'll have you know is the Mafex Armored Batman joint is actually different from the normal Batman. So you can't swap the hands, but at least the head will work. So it looks like even with the weight, the Mafex Batman holds up the Kryptonite Spear just fine. So if you're gonna ask which one is better, I can't really tell you. Honestly, I would tell you to get both if you can, because they complement each other actually really well. A little bit smaller than the Ma than the Mezco one, but with the accessories from the Mezco one, you can obviously build a better Batman. If you're aiming for articulation, this is the one to get. If you're aiming for a more aesthetic look that overall looks better and it lights up, you definitely want to go and cop the Mezco one. But if price point is an issue or you just overall want something more articulated, this is a good replacement for your Mezco Armored Batman. Really enjoying the figure. I really like it. Having both definitely are, need, are needed and a must-have in my collection at this point. I was actually skeptical at first, but I'm glad at the way it turned out. If you haven't already, make sure you go cop one. And I'll stay around for the end of the review. I'm going to have some pictures. Again, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Hope you like and enjoy. Later. Also, one last thing before I forget. It does come with a stand. Like most Mafexes, they come with their own stand. There's no plug-in spot for them. But they do give you the clamp piece. Like most Tamashi stuff and Figma stuff when you buy the D-Stage. does come with its own stage. So before I forget, I'm going to add this in at the end. And you can see a picture. Cool, right? Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.